Hello Taurus. Let's go ahead and get into your February reading, clearing the space, clearing out the energy of all that went before so that we are fully in this Taurus energy. Taurus energy, Taurus energy, Taurus energy, earn, learn, grow, earn, learn, grow, earn, learn, grow. All right, Taurus. Spirit, what do you have for... Oh, look at the snow. They're outside plowing the snow. Spirit, what do you have for Taurus? Whoa, interesting. Literally, I see the bull coming up to me. Hello, thank you. I just said, I saw the, the bull coming up to me and bowing, like in one of the decks that I have. So, Taurus. February will be a good month to look to your heir, siblings, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, and tap into the creativity that is inherent in air. I would also say finding ways to be a little dispassionate about things, detaching in the way that, done with this deck, okay? Detaching in the way that air detaches. Okay, February is a month for you to focus on your greatest greatest dreams, excuse me. Whoa, this came out and, huh, I didn't even mean to, um, whatchamacallit, ninth house. That wasn't even the astrology deck that I was pulling from and it came out. Ninth house, things of the ninth house, foreign travel, adventure, high education, customs, faith, belief, pilgrimages, spiritual quests, aspirations, journalism, religion, gurus, and risk taking. Yeah, being like air, taking a risk, stepping outside your comfort zone. These colors are also quite similar. Huh, let's see. What else do we have for Taurus? What else do we have for Taurus? Of course, our planet is direct. Venus is finally direct. Holy smoke. Okay. There is something that needs to be created. All right. Fifth house ruled by Leo. So taking the creativity of air and using that Leo fire to give you the energy to do what it is, that, to give you that, that push, that confidence that you need to do to take that risk. Oh, you're Taurus. That's right. Risk averse, kind of, sort of. Okay. February is about you stepping out of your comfort zone. So yeah, it can be creativity in actually molding, shaping, building, creating something. We know Tauruses want to build, right? They want to build things. But it can also be taking a risk in your personal life. What do we have for Taurus? What do we have for Taurus? What do we have for Taurus? What do we have for the bowl? What is February bringing? Thank you. Well, here we go. I mean, we have full moon in Aquarius, which is what? An air sign. Show the world the real you. That takes a risk. That takes stepping out of your comfort zone. Releasing the negativity. Releasing any negativity that you've been holding on to, Taurus. Any grudges, any slights. It's time to let it go.
They are all on the astrology. They are all on the astrology, and I see why. Because letting go of that anger only is going to benefit you. Letting go of the anger is only going to benefit you. Oh, they want to do an archetype for you, too. What do you have for us? Oh, I hope this is a new, you know, every so often new gifts appear. And I hope that the signs will come to me and bow like that, like that bull did. That would be amazing. Okay. Connecting with your ancestors. So if you don't know how to release your anger or release negativity, or you don't know how to show the world who you really are, or you don't know how to take a risk, ask your ancestors how to do it. Lord knows they had to know how to take risks, right? They had to. Now, they might not have been so great about releasing negativity. But maybe you happen to come from a family that did, right? Connect with your ancestors. Ask them to help you with this. Ask them to help you with your creativity. Ask them to open the doors for you in February. They are there to help you benefit. Also, some really amazing things happening with Jupiter. Uh, in February too so connecting with the ancestors and maybe doing a ritual check out Jupiter's transits 2022 Jupiter's transits in February 2022 and uh, maybe just you know doing a nice little abundance ritual or setting up your ancestor altar on one of the Thursdays of this month as Jupiter does rule Thursday. I want to show this to you too because it's right here. Grounding yourself. And again, we have the roots. Okay. One plus four is five in numerology. That is freedom. And then we have two plus five is seven, the divine number of seven. So grounding yourself. Grounding yourself so that you can take a risk. We ground so that we can be free. We create structure, not just so we can stay a prisoner, but so that we have enough soil to take flight. Oh, this again. I just put this deck away. What do you have for Taurus? Here we go. Period. Period. This could not be more clear. First of all, this could not be more clear. Don't let your past hold you back in reverse. So we have the south node here. And we have the north node in the upright. Step out of your comfort zone. The north node is where we're going. The south node is what are the gifts and talents that you came into this life with from a previous life. It can also be just a part of your personality, your comfort zone, the thing that you lean on heavily that you've just paid a little bit too much attention to. It could not be more clear. Prosperity lies ahead. New moon in Taurus in reverse. So we know that when a card is in reverse, it is an energy that is stagnant, that is just waiting to come out. So let's just go ahead and get this pop in during Aquarius and Pisces season so that uh, by the time your season rolls around, you're ready to get this prosperity. And we know you love prosperity. A crystal for you. Oh, 
Oh, that's nice. We love Tiger's Eye. A great crystal, again, Tiger's Eye, for creativity, courage, optimism, and power. A courageous and brave stone. Tiger's Eye motivates you to show up as your best self, dispelling any fear and doubt in your path. Known as a shapeshifter, Tiger's Eye embodies healing energies from both earth and sun. Okay? Drawing optimism toward you while also grounding you in reality. Call on this war, call on the warrior inside you and pursue your ambitions with laser focus. Boom. We got three. Lepidocrisite. Lepidocrisite. Open heart, grounded teacher. So again, this message of getting grounded. This is the one. One two now three third card about getting grounded about groundation practical and methodical lepidocrisite approaches spirituality in a tangible way grounding practices back to earth while staying connected to source energy same as tiger's eye a great crystal for teachers or anyone who wishes to pass down spiritual teachings lepidocrisite values tradition and educates without judgment sharing wisdom for humanity's highest good lepidocrisite helps with committing to your life's purpose staying focused on the task at hand and taking action in order to make process progress each day you are one step closer to your dreams and it resonates with the earth element Tiger's eye resonates with the sun's element, with the sun, excuse me, which is a luminary. It is not a star. It is not a planet. It is called a luminary. Well, I mean, technically, it's 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 not a planet. It's a star, but they call it a luminary in astrology. So it says um, Kikoksonite, interconnection, ascension, attunement. So again, we get grounded so that we can fly, right? Cocaxonite is known to raise spiritual awareness and provide divine connection between the universe and humankind. With cocaxonite, synchronicities are not just coincidences, they are messages. So pay attention. Become aware of the universe's messages as it is constantly communicating with you. Cocaxonite, co, co, ka, co, ka, co, xenite, asks that you look at challenges as lessons and wonder what can I learn from this? It resonates with the moon. So we have the moon and the sun here, the two luminaries in the sky. Perfect. So those are your crystals. I think there was something else. Um, an animal ally for you. An animal that you can meditate with in the month of February. What animal What animal can Taurus There we go. So, this is my wishes come true card. It's one of them. So it's obviously blank. So you can write in whatever animal comes to your mind when I said write down what animal comes to your mind. So whatever animal guide you saw, that's your animal guide for the month of February, period. Color, what color will benefit you this month? Color will benefit Taurus this month, please. What color will benefit Taurus? Thank you. I can't. I'm just literally done. I'm done. These are your colors. Those are the vibes. I'll see you in March. Bye.